Hello my friends, today we're going to be testing DSMX compatible receivers to see at what voltage they will cut out. In the lineup we have the newest Spectrum Genuine receiver, an Orange R618XL, a Lemon 6 channel diversity receiver and the older 4 channel Spectrum Genuine receiver. The power supply hooked up to the receiver which is going to power two servos and I will be moving the control surfaces around while I lower the voltage and then we'll see at what voltage that it stops responding. At about 2.9 volts I can start to notice that the servos are moving with less power. So at about 2.6 volts, it loses comms. Now we are going to try another test where we put it back to a normal voltage and then we're going to simulate the battery voltage cutting out and then how long will it take for it to come back. So this light here will indicate when there is a voltage going to the receiver. So I'll turn it off, start giving it inputs and we'll see how long it takes to come on. Okay, let's try the next one. Now we're going to check the Spectrum AR400. Now we're going to try the loss of battery voltage and see how long it takes to start back up. Okay, so now we're going to try this again. So 3.1 volts, it seems to cut out. So here we are with the lemon receiver, this is the voltage. So at about 3.1 volts, start losing the, the signal. Now we're going to simulate a loss of voltage temporarily. Well, that is the end of my testing. In order from best to worst, we got the Spectrum AR400, the Spectrum AR410, the Lemon Diversity 6 channel receiver. Worst place was the Orange R618XL. The worst time was from the Orange and it took a whole 2.75 seconds to reconnect. I must say from these results I am actually quite surprised that all of these receivers would seem to work fine 
with a single cell lipo. I hope that answers a few questions about which receiver is the best if you're going to be running on a 1S lipo system.